What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Live from vacation, if you notice, the scenery is kind of different in the background. But the music industry doesn't stop, so I'm here recording on my Mac. Tech 9 is releasing his 11th studio album this fall. Slightly before fall. September 9th. But you can still count it as fall. The, the, the leaves are starting to fall. Anyways, whatever. So the album is titled The Storm. And what's cool about that is it plays off of his debut album, which was The Calm Before the Storm. And I wonder to what significance that kind of has. Um, Tech has already debunked the rumors that it's his final album. He said in an Instagram comment to one of the fans that the album is not the end. It's not his final album by any means, The Storm. There will be many more albums. And I don't anticipate Tech 9 to ever really retire. He just doesn't seem like that type of person, but I'm I am very interested to see what if there what if any connection there is for the calm before the storm to the storm. Now Tech has been talking about this album for about a year now. He was talking about it before special effects even came out. So he's had a lot of time to plan. He's obviously had a lot of time to record, and like every strange music or like every Tech Nine album. He wants to sort of break through the barrier. He talked about wanting to record with Alanis Morissette, Jay-Z, Gary Clark Jr. in it, you know, Lana Del Rey, a lot of different people. Who knows who will actually be on the final album? There's rumors that Chris Brown is going to be on it, maybe even Royce the 5'9". I'm sure we can expect Chris Calico. And, of course, Seven is always on there producing, and he's such a, he's such a, a great producer. But... I think the album is going to be good. I feel as though it's going to be a lot um, darker. I think it's going to be a lot darker because it just seems like the storm, just the title of it alone symbolizes something more um, aggressive and ruthless. And then his Instagram comment was more than likely a line that's on the album. He said, I don't fit the part from mainstream because I'm rougher. Only time they want to look like me is Halloween, motherfucker. So... I think the album is going to be something along that lines, but it's too early to call it. Um, but you do got to salute Tech 9 because he's torn every year. He's putting out albums on an annual basis, and not too many artists are doing that. And not only does he do that, he'll give you a release date in advance and say it's coming this date, and there will be no pushbacks. I think maybe in the history of Tech 9 he's had maybe just a few pushbacks, but they're probably like really minor, like a couple weeks or something of that nature. But he's always on his business. And when he talks about an album title and talks about wanting to do this and that, he usually gets it done. Remember, he's been talking about recording with Eminem for so long, and he finally got that M verse on special effects on Speedum. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see someone like a Jay-Z on here or a Lana Del Rey, you know, the type of people that Chris or that uh, Tech has said he wanted to work with. He always tends to work with those people. So it's only it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when. And they could be on the storm, but we'll have to find we'll have to wait and see. Um, for now, I would love to know your thoughts on Tech Nine's upcoming album. What do you think about the title, The Storm? What do you think's gonna be the the subject matter, the concept of the album, and do you think it'll have any connection to the calm before the storm? Let me know in the comment section below, and then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video, follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain, and as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching, and until next time, peace.